All right, let's <laughs> jump right in. Our first question coming to us from Alice. She writes, we had bubbles of grass in our yard. After these heavy rains, the areas rise up, and when you step on them, there's water underneath. Should we be worried, Neil? Well, um, not necessarily. This can happen, especially when the soil is so saturated and if the soil is shallow. You can actually get water trapped under the soil and it can lift the soil up. It's almost like squishy? Yeah, it's okay. like squishy. Sometimes it will lift up and actually make a pretty good size bubble and kids can step on it and water <laughs> will spew out of it. It's usually just a sign of so much rain and probably the soil type and the type of situation they have. It When it dries up, they shouldn't have any worries. Do they need to do anything at this no, point? No, okay. no, no. No, All I right. wouldn't do anything as long as the water is not getting in the home or, you know, into the basement or cellar or something. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Next question coming to us from Tom. And Tom wants to know, what are the beautiful white flowering trees that are growing all over the woods and fields this time of year? Well, these are actually calorie pears. All of our ornamental pears are grafted onto this rootstock. It's a native uh pear in Asia and Europe and they are very hardy so they graft the ornamental pears like the Bradford pear, the Cleveland pear, uh, some of the others that are out there on those and once that tree blows over or dies then the rootstock sprouts these pear trees mm -hmm. and they, they produce lots of small pears that birds love and they scatter the seeds everywhere. And the problem with them is, is some of those calorie pears have large thorns oh. and they're very invasive. So if you have an ornamental pear, you need to remove the stump and get rid of the root system if you cut it down okay. or do something to kill the root system to make sure that you don't get those growing. All right, do we have time for one more question, Leanne? Okay, I guess we do. Here's Cynthia asking, um, several of my fruit trees did not bloom. I went out and saw they were dead. When moved, one of the trees fell over. There were no roots. Yeah, these are probably <clears throat> voles, which are little short-tailed mice. Mm -hmm. They love fruit tree roots, and they'll basically chew them off right to ground. And when that happens, of course, the tree dies, and it, the, you can sometimes just walk up and pull them right straight right out, out of the ground. ground. Yeah. So removing the grass from around the base of them out a couple of feet, mm -hmm. leaving it bare soil, no mulch, it, around them. That's the best way to control that. All right. Neil Denton, good information. We appreciate you coming on. And Thank we'll you. See if you're right about April the giraffe. Yeah. Is it April 3rd? All right. I'm writing it down. What time? A April 3rd, 445. 445. All right. Hey, if you have a question for Neil, send us an email and make sure you put Ask Neil on the subject line and allow a few days for a response.